Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw copy isometric of this sum. Now if you see in this length, width and height. First we will draw 30-30 degree. Let's take this is 84. Left side of O is 84. Height is 72. And with this 56, see this 56 plus 24. So that is 80. After that, you draw a vertical line. You draw 30 30 degree and you complete the box. From here you extend this line and from here you extend this line. So we got this box. After this box we will see this side first. We will erase this. This side, this, see this. So I will draw that first. This is 8, 16. So I will mark 8, 16. Then this is 28. You go down. How much you have to go down? 8. Then again you go down by 16. Then this height is how much? That is, this is 32, right? See, total is 72. 72 minus 32 minus 24. So it will be 16. From here you will take 32 Now after this we will draw radius 32 So if I want to draw radius 32 then I have to draw rhombus of 64 I have to mark center first See this, from center I will take 32, 32, 32, 32 and I will draw rhombus. We will draw ellipse by 4 center method, circle by 4 center method. You will draw longest diagonal. Then from this corner you join opposite midpoint. You can name them as 1, 3, this is M, this is 2, this is 4. So I can take 3 to M and draw arc. After that, we'll draw this line which is 32 mm long. Then again, we have to draw radius 12. 
so that means rhombus 24 so you take 12 you mark the center point from there you take 12 12 12 12 see this you mark center point then you take from center you take 12 12 and up also you take 12 down also you take 12 You draw longest diagonal again you draw from midpoint see from that corner one you can draw opposite side midpoint this is two this is three so from one to M you take and you draw arc then you take three to M and draw arc now I will draw that 16 mm line strong line dark then I'll go inside by 8 8 See after that you draw the bottom line, this line also dark. So we are done with this side. Now we'll see how much it is going inside. This is 40. So you take 40. You have to go down by 24 and this is 28 then you can draw this box So we are done with that part also. This again will go down by 16. Now if you see this line is inside by how much? 56. So you take 56. Then you take this part behind. Now we need to see this portion. See this radius 12. What we need to draw? We need to go how much behind? 40. So you go behind by 40. You take this radius, you take 1 to M, take that radius, go behind by 40 and you draw. So you'll get it. Then this one, you go up by how much? 32. So go up by 32. Then you draw this box. If you see this box, you have to draw radius 16. So we need we need 32, 32. So we'll take 32, 32. So this box will be 32, 32 only. You draw longest diagonal. You take midpoint. Midpoint.
and you join like this this is point 1 see this from point 1 to M you can draw arc now take the same radius go behind How much you have to go behind? You have to go behind by 24. So I'll go behind by 24. This will be dark. This will be dark. Now this radius, right? We have to draw it behind. How much behind? 24. So from this center point, you go behind by 24. Take this radius, go behind by 24 and draw arc. See, now we need to take this point also behind. How much behind? 80. 56 plus 24 is 80. So take point 3 behind, this one. 80 behind. This is 3 dash. This is 1, 1 dash. Right? You go behind by 24 in that case. In this case, you have to go behind by 80. Take this radius, 3 to M. And from 3 dash, you can draw arc. And we have already done tangent. So it will meet those tangents. You write origin 30 30 degree and you can do dimensioning 30. thank you